it's Shari, and I'm coming to you from a crime scene. My life has suddenly become a murder mystery. <coughs> I mean, well, no one's actually died, and Eve would probably say... Uh, I think you're overthinking a bit. That's what she says about spring prom, even though it's less than three weeks away and we're all still Billy No Dates. And what happened to me is way bigger than that. It all started this weekend when I couldn't get online. Sid, what's wrong with the Wi-Fi? Go away! That's just his way of saying, come in. Sid. Sid. Is the internet down? Yes, the internet is broken. But you're online. You made me die and have to sit through respawn lag. What do you want? I can't get onto Dixie. <gasps> How will people know what you had for lunch? Yeah, I use it for a lot more than that, actually, but I can't get on because you're using all the Wi-Fi. You really have no idea how it works, do you? Oh, whatever. All I know is that I can't sign on to Dixie because of your stupid computer game. Yeah, it's a lot more complex than that, actually. It's a combination of strategy, teamwork, and hand-to-eye coordination. Like I said, computer game. Anyway, can I try Dixie on your computer? That'll be a no, then. Sherry, don't put your laptop there. We're about to have dinner. Oh, I won't take long. It's just there's a problem with the Wi-Fi in my room. Why would it be better in here? Oh, because it's closer to... Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying anything. Oh, the other sites are loading, but not Dixie. Maybe it's a sign telling you to get off the laptop and do something useful, like set the table. Good one, Mum. Oh, Isla's calling. Try not to do the embarrassing parent thing. So MD, Shari. Have you been on Dixie? No, I can't log in. I think the server's down. Uh-uh. Sign in as me and go to it that way. Check out my makeover for the prom. I don't really get what that means, because it looks horrible. I'll tell you what it means. Murder. <laughs> but even worse, 47 people gave it a thumbs up. do that to you. I know, right? I'm adorable. Your brother, maybe? Oh, I'd thought of that, but he's got a pretty watertight alibi. Do you really think I've got time to waste on your dozy page? I'm in the middle of a massive mission with my guild. Die, houseborn! We should still bring him in for questioning. We could do good cop, bad cop. I'll be bad cop. And Sid can be fit cop. How is Sid a cop if we're questioning him? If anyone's a fit cop, it's Zane. Use your brain. Just ask Zane. I just mean objectively, but more importantly, ew. Sid's my brother, so ew. But we are looking for a computer genius because whoever did this must have some major hacking skills to crack my password. Not really, I know it. And me, how many people did you tell? No one, just you two. And Tien. Hi, Tien. And the dinner lady with the eyebrows. But that was only so she could look at my cousin's kitten photos. Oh, and my cousin. But that's it, like I said, no one. I'm completely locked out. I've tried to reset the password, but it doesn't recognize my email. So, just start a new account? Oh, I have. I made a new page called The Dixie Murder. Nice. I'm not overdramatic at all. My whole life is on there. You're all off the grid, but I'm totally on it. I'm not giving up on my old page. Uh-oh. What-oh? Chloe's added a comment. Ha-ha, big improvement. And it's got 67 thumbs up. She gets all the thumbs. 72, just for eating toast. <gasps> Don't you see what this means? <gasps> she must be the one who hacked you. Ha. <sighs> Evidence feels a bit flimsy. No, it all makes sense. She never comments on my page, and she is a total beehive. Hey, it's Shari, and this is Shiny Floor Sock Slide. <laughs> Careful, oh. Shari. You should really watch where you're going. Ouch. I had a doorknob shaped bruise for weeks. Guess it's game over for your old account. Why? Chloe's untouchable. Netball captain, student <clears throat> council president, prom committee vice chair. Taking her on would be social death. I am not afraid of Chloe. I'm scared of her, but I'm not afraid. You don't have any proof it was her. If you come at the Queen, you'd best not miss. 
I don't really get what that means. It means I'll get proof, but I need you to help me. Because I'm taking Chloe down. Hey, it's Shari on the bus and on my way to get Chloe to admit she's the one who hacked me. Chloe is basically my nemesis. You don't have a nemesis. You're not a magic time-travelling doctor. She's really mean to me. She's mean to everyone. And she's never given any of my vlogs a thumb. Maybe she just didn't like them. No, they were very good vlogs. And also, she's not on the bus as soon as I begin investigating. That's suspicious. That's coincidence. What are you two talking about? About how I'm going to tell Chloe I know she's the one who hacked me. That's brave. Particularly as you have zero evidence it was her. Chloe is mean to Shari. Remember when she posted a photo of a toilet and tagged it Shari? She tagged like 17 people in that picture. And that time she gave you a thumbs up for accidentally writing you a feeling positive. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of people gave that a thumb. It was really funny. Chloe does mean stuff to everyone. She doesn't do it to you. She does. When I accidentally called Miss Lupin mum, she told the whole class, but she couldn't write it on my Dixie because I've got my privacy settings locked down. Something to think about. Yeah, well, I like sharing on Dixie and I loved my old Dixie page. And now it's just covered in horrible photographs of me with moustaches and blacked out teeth. I'm not letting Chloe get away with this. I just need to get this proof that you're so obsessed with. You could look at her phone. Um, Murdo, privacy settings? These seats are pretty close together. But all I'm saying is every site she's been on will be on her phone's browser history. That's a list of websites she's visited. I, I know what browser history is. That's genius. Thanks, Murdo. I, I could help you and Eve with your investigation, maybe, if you want. I understand what you're going through. The whole reason I started learning about programming and antivirus software was because my little brother used my computer once and afterwards my screen was covered with pop-ups about Pokemon and uh, My Little Pony. Friendship is magic! Come on, bruv. Put some of those breakfast bars you like. They're out of date, but it's best before, not used by. Murdo fancies you. Murdo, please! Don't be harsh. Well, better for Murdo if he doesn't, because Shari blates fancy Zane. Uh, no, I don't, and she'll hear you. Hi, Shari. Oh, it's Hi, Zane. Do you want some atomic sours? They're two peach, but for you, one and a half. Oh, my days. Hey, wait, check this out. What? It's the very first thing the hacker did. It says when it was posted. 4.07 p.m. Friday. Whoever it was, was on Dixie at that time. Are you filming me? No, I was just checking that the screen was clean. <laughs> Do you love me or something? <laughs> no, Chloe, we don't love you. Mm. Look, we just want to know what you were doing at seven minutes past four last Friday. I was at the prom committee. Did anyone see you there? The prom committee. Stalky. No more questions. That's that then. Better let it go. Before you make her really angry, you wouldn't like her when she's angry. I don't like her now. Be all right. I'm letting it go. Good, because for a moment there, I thought your next move would be to try Murdo's idea and steal her phone. You're going to steal her phone, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Hey, it's Shari, and this is getting hold of Chloe's phone while she's in PE. Okay. Right, this is it. Eve, can you have a look in Chloe's bag? Have you been eating Zane's out-of-date pick-and-mix again? I am not going to go through Chloe's bag on camera. Oh, but I have to film it, Eve. It's important. Yeah, you're filming it to put on Dixie. That means it will never go away. It will be like permanent marker pen on my life. I think that's a line from one of my songs. <laughs> Though I guess I won't mind that much because Chloe will end that life. OK, fine. You film it then. I'll do it. Quickly, P's almost over, and if Chloe finds you with her phone, well, remember that supply teacher who tried to confiscate it? We've never seen him since, I know. And the dinner lady who asked if she could borrow it to call her son? Who? Exactly. Okay, Isla, you go stand, look out. OK, if she's coming, the code word is Chloe is coming. That's three words? Never mind. <clears throat> Quickly, it looks as if we're stealing. <laughs> we are not stealing, we are investigating. Relax, everything will be fine. Stop worrying all the time. Ah. <laughs> she doesn't even have her screen locked. That's because no one would be dumb enough to mess with her phone. 
What? She has 75 pictures of herself on this phone and not one single bad one. Not even like a meh one. Sherry, we don't have time for this. Oh, what well, looks like an audition video. Really? I didn't know she could do that. No, forget it. Just check her browser history. You know, she's actually very good. Come on. Just one more second. Sherry? OK, I can't find anything, so I'm just going to check her Dixie app. <gasps> Chloe's been hacked too! What are you doing? Touching my stuff. Chloe's coming! Oh. Hey, it's Shari, and I'm still alive. Sorry for the cliffhanger, TN. That was because someone cracked under pressure and switched my phone off. I'll let you off this once, Eve, cos you're my bestie. Besties! Anyway, the whole secretly sneaking a look at Chloe's phone thing didn't exactly go to plan. Eve, you can't just stop shooting right in the middle. <sighs> Would you mind saying that again? I said, what are you doing even touching my bag? You crazy-eyed bag rummaging weirdos. You can't just steal my stuff. We don't want to steal your stuff. You better not be. Go back to rooting through bins. That's clearly where you found that outfit. <clears throat> OK, for the record, Chloe, we were not stealing, and I do not go bin-diving for a hobby. We were trying to solve crime. Everyone knows if you're hunting down a ruthless killer, you have to bend the rules sometimes. I'm a maverick cop, single-handedly fighting for justice here. That's what I should have said. Um... OMD. Is this about your stupid Dixie page? And what have you freaks done to my Dixie? Uh, this is totally not what it looks like. That wasn't us. Somebody must have hacked you this morning. Somebody who's not us. Someone's been hacking into Dixie. That's why... OK, shh, stop. So you're telling me someone's hacked my Dixie account? Exactly. And, and I the am... same person's hacked your Dixie account? <gasps> yes! Do you always have to copy me? What? Seriously, it's sweet that you want to be me. And by sweet... I mean pathetic. I'll be gentle as you both clearly have issues. Back off. Stop going through my bag, stop copying my Dixie, and stop filming me. OK? Relax. It'll be fine. Stop worrying all the time. Can you believe her? Oh, yeah. Get your own toast, you marmite parasite. Like you did, you mean? Mum, where's my blazer? Wherever you left it. <coughs> Thanks. Anyway, while we have further proof that Chloe is pure distilled evil, turns out she's not also a cyber criminal. So our prime suspect is innocent. And I have no idea who would want to hack me and Chloe. But I have a new lead. <laughs> OK, so it's not technically breaking news, as you guys probably already saw it on Dixie, but Mimi messaged me last night. Hey, it's Mimi. Shari, I've been hacked too and they've left a clue. You want to come over and check it out? Shari, shouldn't you be ready by now? Just a sec. Three murders in one week. This is big, guys. I'm going over to Mimi's after school and I'll post a new vlog as soon as I get back. This could blow the whole case wide open.